speak chapter 44 can it lunch with heather starts cold since winter break she has been sitting at the fringe of the martha's table and i eat on the other side of her i can tell something is up as soon as i walk in all the marthas are wearing matching outfits navy corduroy miniskirts striped tops and a clear plastic purses they must have gone shopping together heather doesn't match they hadn't invited her she is too cool to be nervous about this i am nervous for her i take an enormous bite of my pbj and try not to choke they wait until she has a mouthful of cottage cheese sohan puts a can of beets on the table sohan what's this heather swallowing it's a can of beets sohan no duh but we found an entire bag of beets in the collection closet they must have come from you heather a neighbor gave them to me they're beets people eat them what's the problem the rest of the marthas sigh on cue apparently beets are not good enough real marthas only collect food that they like to eat like cranberry sauce dolphin safe tuna or baby peas i can see heather's na dig her nails into her palm under the table the peanut butter molds to the roof of my mouth like a retainer so hon that's not all your numbers are abysmal heather what numbers so hon your can quota you aren't carrying your weight you aren't contributing heather we've only been doing this for a week i know i'll get more emily it's not just the can quota your posters are ridiculous my little brother could have done a better job it's no wonder no one wants to help us you've turned this project into a joke emily slides her tray across to heather heather gets up without a word and clears it away traitor she isn't going to stick up for my posters the peanut butter in my mouth hardens sohan pokes emily and looks at the door sohan it's him andy evans just walked in i think he's looking for you em i turn around they're talking about it andy andy evans short stabby names andy evans who strolls in carrying a takeout bag from taco bell he offers the cafeteria monitor a burrito emily and sohan giggle heather returns her smile back in place and asks if andy has a is as bad as everyone says. Emily blushes the color of canned beets. So, Han, it's just a rumor. Emily, fact, he's gorgeous. Fact, he's rich. Fact, he's just a teensiest bit dangerous. And he called me last night. So, Han, rumor, he sleeps with anything. The peanut butter locks my jaw closed. Emily, I don't believe it. Rumors are spread by jealous people. Hi, Andy. Did you bring enough lunch for everyone? It feels like the Prince of Darkness has swept his cloak over the table. The lights dim. I shiver. Andy stands behind me to flirt with Emily. I lean into the table to stay as far away from him as I can. The table saws me in half. Emily's mouth moves. The fluorescent lights glittering on her teeth. The other girls scooch towards Emily to soak up the attractiveness rays. Andy must be talking too. I can feel deep vibrations in my backbone, like a thundering speaker. I can't hear the words. He twirls my ponytail with his fingers. Emily's eyes narrow. I mumble something idiotic and run for the bathrooms. I heave my lunch into the toilet, then wash my face with ice water that comes out of the hot faucet. Heather does not come looking for me.